Some of my favorite in or my favorite musicians, but more importantly, my most uh, I guess my biggest influences, um, Patty Griffin. Patty Griffin for the way she is able to write about other people's lives. I think she has a way of just uh, making you want to know the people that she writes about. And so when I first started writing, I wrote a lot about myself and about my feelings. And I think that when I started listening to Petty Griffin, I realized that I wanted to be more intuitive about the lives of other people and write about the lives of other people. And I thought that that was very important. Um, Bob Dylan, definitely, as far as lyrics go, I learned a lot about alliteration from Bob Dylan. <laughs> and it just sounds so much cooler when you use alliteration in songwriting. It does a lot of that. Um, some of my favorite uh, artists and other influences would be, let's see, definitely Rosie Thomas and the simplicity of her songwriting. I thought for a while that if I didn't write things that were really complicated or if I didn't write things that made you really, uh, things that you have to figure out, you know, things that are kind of like a, a puzzle, 
I felt like if I didn't write, you know, really intricate things like that, then I wouldn't be a good songwriter. And I learned from Rosie, Rosie Thomas that I can write things that are very simple and that are just as much impactful and inspiration, in, inspirational, I think. So, yeah, Rosie Thomas, Patty Griffin, Bob Dylan, Over the Rhine, incredible and influenced me a lot in 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 my songwriting and in my melodies I think and Josh Ritter fabulous songwriter as well I could go on and on like so many different people for so many different things and it's kind of like when you take you know certain types of medicine depending on what your symptoms are you know like you take Tylenol and you have a headache or Pepto-Bismol if you have a stomach ache and I think I listen to different different artists and different musicians depending on what my symptoms are for sure so if I'm if I'm sad and <laughs> or scared, I listen to Dennis and Whitmer because he calms me down. And, uh, if I'm happy and the sun is shining and I'm in my car driving, um, you know, I'll listen to Yankee Hotel Foxtrot or Will Club. You know? So I guess different things for, for different for different feelings, but but all of it kind of does the same thing. Well, things don't always turn out right. Everywhere I go, I find the same sad sound. Where someone's looking for a place to rest their bones. From the ocean side in the deep, the Midwest skies. 
I think what keeps me going is is a number of things. N- number one, um, number one, I I can't I can't help it. <laughs> If I try to not do music, which I don't think I, I've come to that point yet, uh, but if there if there's a long time where I'm not, you know, playing guitar or creating something, uh, I I feel like I'm I'm losing touch with myself. I think that as a musician and as a writer and as an artist, I've come to know my importance of that and of my role in that. And, and every, every, every person that exists has a purpose in life. And as a musician and as a writer and as someone who creates, I feel like my purpose is to, is to kind of go before the people who don't necessarily know how to articulate what they're feeling. And I feel like when I'm dealing with with the root of an issue that's going on in my life or when I'm dealing with a certain emotion or a certain feeling and really getting to the bottom of, of that, the dirty mess and whatever is going on in my life and I'm able to articulate that and create something that, that makes sense of that even though it might not solve the problem at least being able to make sense of that and articulate that is, is enough to to make me feel alive, I think. And people that that don't know how to create, it doesn't mean they're not as important, it just means that they need someone else to articulate those feelings for them. And that's why listeners and fans are so important because they they hear your music and they hear what I'm writing and and they they might need to hear what I have to say, just like I might need to hear what someone else has to say. And I, we all just need to, to listen and hear what everyone else is talking about and what everyone else is saying, I guess. So, so that keeps me going is knowing my purpose and, and not being able to help it, actually. And um, another thing that, that keeps me going is any person that ends up being touched or, or changed by what I'm, what I'm doing, even just one person. If three people are at a show that I'm playing at and one person comes up to me and says, hey, I really love what you did and and that really that really touched me or that really that really changed my perspective on something or that really made me feel like someone understands what I'm feeling because I feel what you were talking about in that song then that's enough it's enough to keep me going that one thing and it's always those those one it's always that one thing you know you feel like you're gonna give up and, and one more person has said how much they appreciate you or one more person becomes a fan on on your myspace account you know (laughs) and it's just those those little things are enough to keep me going and my love of my love of people my love of music my love of life i guess it's called a song about rain It's a good day for a song about rain Yeah, it's coming down to me It's a good day for a song about you Yeah, you're coming down to me The ocean big and blue You're climbing crooked trails I'm walking straight Yeah, I know you're thinking about this too Yeah, I know you're thinking about this too Well, I may be wrong But I can't go I'm falling down hard for you Oh, what am I to do Here in the middle of you Well, I 
it's a good day for a hurricane Come blow this over, bring some sense to me It's a good day for a hard cold rain Come wash me clean of this mess I've made Come wash me clean of this mess I've made Well, I may be wrong, but I can't go right with you. Yeah, you got me high. I'm falling down hard for you. Oh, what am I to do here in the middle of you? It's a good day for a song by rain Yeah, it's coming down on me I'm Liza Day. Thanks for listening to me at Earphoria.